All right, well, uh, good morning, ladies and gentlemen of the press. Uh, distinct pleasure to be here this morning. Yet again, um, BTC is leading the way, actually, in the support of Bahamian athletics. And um, I'm particularly privileged because this morning, not only we support athletics, we support one of our own, BTC's own sons, um, in the person of, of Chris Brown, as he has taken what I believe to be a monumental leap forward in um, athletics and in entertainment and bringing entertainment value into the Bahamas. Um, BTC is proud to be a gold sponsor um, for what is the, I hope it's the inaugural of many more Chris Brown Invitationals, uh, the track and field event to the Bahamas, um, which will bring to the Bahamas world-class talent, talent that many Bahamians would have seen on display in Beijing, and obviously, and most proudly, um, our very own Bahamian um, world-class athletes who would have brought on gold, um, not that I said Beijing, um, would have brought on gold from last year in London. And um, so, you know, we're very, very pleased to be that BTC is, is contributing $50,000 as a gold sponsor um, to the event. And certainly if you go back to last year to now, um, we would have committed over $750,000 in support of Bahamian Athletics, um, which for us is a wonderful commercial opportunity because certainly we get our, our value back in sponsorship. But more importantly, I think you know, what we saw in display in certainly Griffith this past weekend, what we've seen over the years, um, the impact that this has on the Bahamian community, the impact it has on Bahamian young persons, um, the impact it has uh, as a country. Um, the, the payback goes way, way beyond just dollars and cents and speaks to the heart of the kind of company we are and speaks to the heart of the kind of community that we believe that we have. Um, certainly, I know I will be there um, and I really want the entire Bahamas to come out um, to support the event, they get an opportunity not only again to see world class at least, but to see, to support Chris Brown and the and, and, and his um, coordinators of this event um, to ensure its success and ensure it going forward. Those persons who came with the Griffin know that there's no better entertainment value, no better. Um, it was a wonderful family event. It's certainly family friendly. You get a chance to see world class athletes on display. And those of you who haven't come out and seen the new stadium, you get a chance to see the new stadium and be a part of it and see what a wonderful facility the stadium is. And um, so I really want to encourage folks to be a part of it. BTC family is going to be out there. We're going to be doing our normal giveaways and having some fun. We plowed, please, to support Chris. And, um, and we look forward to everybody coming out and having a fantastic time. Thanks. Uh, first of all, I'd just like to thank Mr. Johnson and BTC for making this possible. Um, it's a big dream, and for BTC to get on board with us, uh, this first inaugural Chris Brown Bahamas Invitational is a huge success for us to get him on board. So I just want to say thank you. Um, also being a spokesperson for BTC, um, this will carry on for many years to come. We're looking forward to welcoming the world to our house. Um, like Mr. Johnson said, we have uh, about 100 elite athletes coming here to the shores of the Bahamas, some of them for the first time, some of them the second visitors. Uh, so we look forward to making this a huge success, and every year we intend to get bigger and better. So um, I just want to thank Mr. Johnson and BTC for coming on board with us at this time. Um, everyone's seen the success of the Carifta Games, and you know we welcome the, the Bahamas to come out and support this event. Uh, we knew that a lot of people were not here during uh, last week at the Carifta Games, so we and we asked the Bahamian public to definitely come out and support this event, and look forward to some world-class sprinting. Thank you. Well, you know, um, the Lord blessed me with this idea uh, about two or three years ago. Um, this was never something that I had any intentions of doing. Uh, but once he bestowed upon me, I took it. And um, through the passage of time, I just decided, you know, to take it step by step and, and gather up the athletes and get them on board. And once I got them all on board, then I knew that the time was, it was the right timing. So just for the simple fact, you know, it's April. Um, a lot of them agreed to, to compete in April, which is very early for, for professionals to compete this kind of time around the year. So um, once I gathered everyone on board and rallied them up, then it was, I knew that the time couldn't have been no better time. And so the Lord blessed me with the idea, and I just took it and, and brought it forward. <laughs> well, it's, it's, it's a lot of hard work, you know. Um, I really didn't know the, the paperwork side of it. You know, I just knew um, contacting the athletes and um, bringing them, letting them know that, hey, I'm putting on the meat, but to, uh, to
to get the behind the scenes and do the paperwork and uh, you know just basically the mind power what it takes to put on an event like this is totally new for me and, and um, it's a lot of hard work so um, but once again you know the Lord never give more than I can handle so I look forward to the challenge and uh, I just look forward to bringing a huge uh, event here to the Bahamas and letting the Bahamian people see that if you're not able to go to London or Europe for a major world-class event we will definitely be having it here in the Bahamas every year. The planning is coming actually great. Um, everything's falling into place. Um, the athletes are excited about coming. Um, every day uh, I get calls and calls about you know volunteering. Um, people want to help. You know, they want to know where they can find tickets. And um, everything is going. Everything is on point. Everything is going great. So we just we just look forward to welcome them in on the, on the 11th and, and take it from there. Well, you know, it's. it's it's still room for sponsors, um, but like I say, you know, um, the Lord makes everything happen. You know, uh, He brought BTC on board with us at a, at a major point in time for us, and, and it's going to go a long way for us. Um, we know we were competing with Carifta, but actually our event was scheduled uh, a year ago, and um, things, are, things are looking pretty good for us right now because of, of BTC and, and a few other sponsors that's already on board with us. Um, so, you know, we just look forward to, to putting on a grand event and, and any sponsors who's will, willing to get on board, you know, they could always come on board. So we have lots of room. Well, we have Justin Gatlin, who will be here. He, he won the bronze medal um, at the London 2012. We have Veronica Campbell-Brown. She's going to be competing here for the first time anywhere in the region outside of Jamaica. So she'll definitely be here. We have Karani James, who just won the gold medal at uh, London 2012 and also the world champion last year. Um, I mean, the list goes on and on, you know. We have Wallace Spearman, LaShawn Merritt, who's a double gold Olympic medalist. Um, so an event like this, basically what it will do for us uh, as a country and for the youths is basically encourage them to know that they will be seeing these athletes close in person, which will allow them now the opportunity to, to benefit by being encouraged and seeing these persons live and live in colors to know that if if these guys are right here at my home soil, it'll push them and motivate them to say, I want to be a part of this event. You know, um, we've seen the success from out of Jamaica, which is our neighbor, that uh, once the Jamaican Invitational came uh, out, that their their program stepped up dramatically. You know, uh, you've you've seen world records out of their their junior program is is, is I mean tremendously and. Hopefully by this event coming here to the Bahamas, we know that this will definitely encourage our junior athletes to definitely step up their A-game and, and be able to take on the world. Well, um, a majority of our elite females, uh, a lot of them are dealing with injuries. So um, like I said, it's early in the season. Um, they have little nicks and knacks that they are dealing with themselves. Uh, we're hoping to get Anthony, not Anthony, uh, yeah, Anthony Strong should be here 50-50 um, with her but um, a lot of them are dealing with injuries right up and now, so the guys are ready to go. Uh, we have Christine Amatel, she's, she's going to be here to run the women's 400 meters. So um, uh, we just, I mean, we, we tried our best to accommodate every behemoth as much as possible, but with injuries, there's nothing we could do about that. Um, we're going to have Trevor Barry, uh, Donald Thomas uh, against Ryan Ingram, the young Ryan Ingram, and also uh, Keith Moffat out of the United States. They will, they will be doing a high jump uh, off come on the 11th. Um, we also have a lineup in the 200 meters with uh, LaShawn Merritt going up against Demetrius Spinder, and also uh, uh, Justin Gatlin getting a piece of that. Um, and Veronica, Veronica Campbell, she'll be going up against a class of, of, of hungry uh, runners that are definitely willing to, to step up to the plate this year and make a name for themselves. So we have a great lineup. Um, it's early in the season. So just basically getting the, those elite at least to come out this early in April, professionals don't really open up and tell me, including myself. So just to have this elite field coming here to the Bahamas is a big plus for us. So hopefully next year we look to uh, add a few more names to the roster and, and have a be better selection of lineup. Well, I feel as though, you know, with the talent that was out there at the Carifta Games, you know, it definitely motivated me. You know, even though I can't go back in time and get my career the time at home not to shine, <laughs> but I, I know that um, with this event coming to the Bahamas and those junior athletes uh, will be seeing this event, um, I know for one fact that it's going to definitely motivate them. Um, it was a privilege for me to be here and watch a history in the making.
Um, also to watch, you know, our, our juniors, I mean, really be able to to rise to the occasion. You know, they didn't. it didn't matter to them where you were from or who you were, but they stepped up their game knowing that they're going to defend the home turf. So our junior program is definitely on the right track. Um, like I said, with this event coming here, you, you could look forward to now more Bahamians getting on board, the junior program stepping up to a next level. Um, and and ho hopefully, who knows, I mean, and you may even see a world record uh, produce, you know, um, just um, just the other day ago, they were showing on the Jumbotron that uh, Grafton Neifel Jr., uh, he defeated Usain Bolt back at some Carifta game, so uh, he didn't go on any further, but it just shows that if he had went on, you know, who knows what if could have, what can he have been of himself, so we got world record holders here in the Bahamas, so it's just going to take, you know, the, the manpower, uh, the encouragement, the uplifting, and, and who knows, we'll see some world records right here in the Bahamas. How important is this for the Well, it's, 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 it's important because, you know, the region, the region looks forward to a meet of this caliber and magnitude, uh, especially this early in the season. Um, I think that with this meet being the first event on the IWF calendar and being sanctioned by the BGAs, it shows that, um, that we're definitely are on the right track. And with our state-of-the-art stadium, it shows that we are ready to host uh, major championships and uh, definitely take the Bahamas to the next level. Uh, in terms of, of uh, bringing in tourism to the country and also, you know, helping the economy. Okay. Especially that we have most of you here today, and please um, make sure that this word gets out. We anticipate, we anticipate no problems whatsoever in terms of facilitating the both the local and the international press. Okay, so um, in terms of internet, uh, as you can see, um, BTC, our, our, our major partner, our presenting gold sponsor partner, um, has assured us that all will be well and um, there will be no issues. And if there is a wish list, in addition to what um, we know that you need, please be sure to let us know and we want, we want you to feel special. Talk about international We're still finalizing that, um, um, Fisher and we should know better by um, tomorrow exactly who's coming in. But with the names, um, you know, uh, Twitter is, is alive and, and really, really cracking um, with the international press being very, very excited about this meet. So um, we do expect a good showing. I, I, I suspect the, that um, question would come up in some form um, regarding um, internet provision. And uh, what, 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 what we were able to do is have discussions with the um, promotion team for this event early on to give us a sense as to what it is that they require. Um, and I think um, because of that, um, it, it, it gives us the um, wherewithal to, to plan and to execute it properly. Um, just for background information, one of the things that I think some folks don't appreciate is the fact that ZNS carried the games in HD um, from the stadium. The internet, the data pipe that they use was BTC's um, um, pipe to carry HD, which those of you who are technically minded would know what, 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 what kind of capacity you need to carry that without hitch. And the reason that we were able to do so is because we planned for it. Um, and so I think one of the lessons that we, we're going to have a sit-down session with the planners of Carifta um, and the Stadium Authority and just to explain to them sort of how the process works um, and that once you, we define the requirements and, and do the things that we need to do, then anything truly is possible, including taking HD broadcast to the world um, via BTC's um, um, capacity. So that, that, that was the learning that came out of that that, 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 um, that I think we're a lot better prepared for for this event and certainly for future events. Um, and to impress upon people who promote these events to, to give us your specifications. Once you let us know what it is that you require, um, making it happen is, is really, really um, um, very, very straightforward. We have wonderful fiber connectivity um, to the stadium um, and in and surrounding areas. Um, we can carry any amount of bandwidth that's necessary practically um, to make anything happen. And, and, um, and I think we're going to see a massive difference because we did the forward planning. Um, um, this go round. So I think that was the learnings and the lessons for us. Um, but I also want to just say more broadly, I think one of the challenges is that we, we had a lot of crit criticism of the Crypto Games, but really and truly, the games, as had happened, you will have bumps and bruises and itches. And, um, and even aside from the purported issue with BTC, I think the games went off pretty well. It was the first event of that size and magnitude, um, in, a, in, a, in a facility of that size and magnitude um, um, in the Bahamas. 
and um and like i said i think all things considered you know it's something that we should be proud of even though we've had a lot of commentary coming from all ends um i think it's something that we still should be um very very proud of and um and i stand by what i said in my earlier commentary about the um provision into with btc and this just was unfortunate we were not in engaged to ask to provide a particular service um in this instance we were and um and then like and that, and that makes the difference what I want to say is that, you know, it's indeed a pleasure for us to work along with Chris Brown um, for this initiative. Um, Chris Brown, because of who he is, could have taken this event anywhere in the world. He thought to bring it home, and um, we're going to do it grand style, and um, we just want to say to the Bahamian public, support him, support this initiative. It's going to be an exciting event. Um, tickets are available right now at two BTC outlets um, at the Marathon Mall and also at the Southwest Plaza Carmichael um, location. Also at the stadium, tickets are available and online at bahamasinvitational.com. Tickets start at as low as $10. Okay, let us know if you have groups, let us know if you have special requests. We'd like to listen to you, we'd like to have you there. We will make it possible, so give us a call.